from Never Enough Note. So I'm with Joe Noel, and we want to hear all about your new music. So Joe released his 2014 album, Tornado, and we've heard on the, well, we heard about five minutes ago, he's working on some new music. So can you tell us about your new, your new piece of work? Sure. Um, I'm, I write so many songs, so I always get in trouble for not playing old songs off the oh, latest record. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm in the process of doing some demos and, and planning out a new, a new album um, with a, sort of a, a new approach and sound. And oh, really? I'm really excited like about how? it. Yeah. Uh, pretty heavy metal. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm kidding. No. Heard it uh, here first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, just more so. Um, well, it's gonna be it's gonna be different. I say, keep it sort of secret. And That's uh, fine. yeah, yeah. It's going to be good. Okay. Be I mean, how far along? Are you write, still writing or are you... you know, I'm still writing, yeah. yeah. I'm still writing lots, um, but I have... I think I have enough songs for a, for a full new album already, but oh, I want to really? keep, wanna keep uh, writing and mm. get some good ones. Never so. stop. Yeah. Have you got, like, a release schedule? Like, Not quite yet. Not quite yet. Not quite yeah. yet. We'll, yeah. hear, we'll yes. hear more from you yeah, about that very soon. Totally. So, like, your live show is really... It's really emotional it's raw it's really gritty I mean it's all like drawly folk I've never seen Joe before I seriously I'd just do it um, how do you a live show is really important to you to get that emotion across how do you translate that to how are you going to translate that to your new album uh, I think that's a good question um, I think in the studio I'm sort of a fan of recording everything live mm -hmm. and uh, also analog for the sound um, uh, my past albums have been on two inch tape and uh, I think you get a real mood that way so I'd like to keep recording that way but honestly I think doing everything live and keeping it as honest and real as possible yeah. in the studio to, to help that come through because sometimes it's harder for that you know that grit like you mm -hmm. said to come through in a, in, a, in a listening on a CD or album than uh, you know compared to a live show yeah yeah yeah, so, yeah. So if you could collaborate on your album with anybody, who would it be? Oh my gosh, uh, that's a, there's a lot of people I would love to. Um, I would say the big Joe Nolan band. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, w I would love to work with uh, if with, anybody, with anybody. I would say Tom Waits would be a guy really? that I would love to uh, collaborate with. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, like how you said you've been a musician, like or you've always been a musician, like. Since, since when? How long have you been playing music? Yeah. Um, as far as I can remember, I, I started playing guitar around 13 or 14. Okay. And uh, my dad played a bit. And so just self-taught since mm -hmm. then. And uh, I've been doing this since since I got my driver's license. I started yeah. doing open mics and been doing this as my full-time job really? since then. And What's your favorite uh, guitar to play? Right now, I love... There's, there's these Canadian-made guitars called Art and Luthery. And uh, they're made out of Quebec, and they're parlor size, and they're really affordable. Um, so, but for some reason, I, they're my all-time favorite guitar yeah. right now. Yeah, keeping it Canadian. Yeah, I mean, it just happened randomly that they were from there. I just, I didn't know when I first mm -hmm. bought it, but yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So, we're going to take one question out of the, the mystery pine glass of truth, <laughs> and we're going to see what the final question for Joe is. I can see some of these. Let's see, what's this one? What's your favorite new album this year? Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, oh my gosh. Um, I, don't, I don't know when Father John Misty's last album came out, but I actually just saw him in London mm -hmm. uh, a couple nights ago. Yeah, he's a decent talk. He, that, well, the first time I heard that was probably the best thing I've heard in a long time really? in terms of mainstream stuff, but I'm trying to think of more. That's a good one. No. Um, Do you find him as like, an inspiration at all? He, he blows my mind. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Very Joe, cool. it's been really, really nice to meet you. Thank you, you for taking well. the time to chat to okay. us. I've been Kim from Ever Enough Notes. We'll see you soon.